as it's my first time hosting Children in Need, I wanted to see where some of the donations went. So I'm here at the Wilden Opportunity Group in Southampton. It's a preschool for children with additional needs. Let's go and have a little look. So Lucy, tell me about some of the work that the Wilden Opportunity Group do. The Wilden Opportunity Group supports children from birth to five in early intervention. So what we do is enable the children the opportunity to explore around their communication and developing relationships. The opportunity to come and play mm. in a safe environment. All our children have one-to-one -one support. Tell us about some of the challenges that these children face. All our children have um, a range of needs and that could be development, delay in their speech and language, their communication, their learning. They may have some sort of complex physical um, health needs. Our real sort of ethos is um, early intervention and a real consistent approach. Mm -hmm. So starting things nice and early, yeah, um, yeah get, giving the children the best start really. Yeah. What does the BBC Children Need Funding do here for the Wilden Opportunity Group? Our grant allows us to um, pay for five um, project workers in a morning session and an afternoon session. All our staff are trained in various different things, whether it be autism or Makaton training to support with communication. What would you do without the funding from BBC's Children in Need? Without our Children in Need funding, it would be um, our numbers would be greatly reduced. So mm -hmm. there would be children that we couldn't support. We would only be able to take um, less than half of the children. Mm -hmm. There'd be no options till the children are older. So about the impact that your work has on the children and their families. Just having that opportunity to play, um, having that opportunity to be to build a peer group to yeah. their social skills. So we see a lot of sort of you know interaction um, with each other and, mm -hmm. and the adults around them, and it's just you see them growing in confidence. So yeah. exploring the playroom more, um, <laughs> feeling confident to try new things. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably you know the biggest thing. What do you think the cost of living crisis will mean for the families that you support? I think particularly for families that are already struggling, I feel yeah. that they're probably hit the hardest. Um, again, it's just, you know, being able to signpost to, to other projects. Yeah. What sort of challenges does Eva have? So Eva's got brittle bones disease, so she fractures really easily. So we have to, all handling has to be, we have to pick her up more careful. And she can't walk yet due to uh, the weaker bones in her legs. Right. Um, so she's still just crawling and she can't quite communicate her needs yet. So she's pointing and she's tube fed as well. So uh, we have to make sure she's got her pump right and try to get her to eat. Of course. <laughs> and she it's also has some, parents, Yes, it? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, and her breathing machines um, right. overnight because she has some breathing difficulties. She had the funding from Children in Need to, to pay for extra training. Yes, so her key worker had to be trained how to hold her because wow. um, she can't be held the same way. She can't be picked up from under the shoulders. Um, Making sure she's got the right physiotherapy, sitting in her specialist chair. Uh, yes, yeah, so everything's had to be adapted for Eva. Well, that was a delightful morning here down the ball pits at the Wilden Opportunity Group. A wonderful project helping local children be the best that they can be. And your donations make this possible. How good's that?